Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Buhari, unfair to Igbos, as if he explodes, demands Igbo precedence. The first civilian governor of Anambra State, Chukwe Meka Ezefi, says President Muhammad Buhari is unfair because his government has been pushing the Igbos out of Nigeria. News, Ninja News reports that Ezefi, who made the statement in an interview with Point Blank News, called for equality and fairness as a yastic during the 2023 presidential election. According to him, the Northerners, Westerners, even South-South, except the Easterners, all already have a shot at the top. The first civilian governor of Anambra State stressed that the North is, believing, is believed to be scamming to hold on to power to come 2023. In fact, a notable governor is being taught to be the chosen one to take over for pres from President Buhari. His words, well, fairness is fairness. Justice is justice. The three largest tribes in Nigeria are the houses, Igbos and Yorubas. No Igbo man has been elected president of my Nigeria. Yoruba man has, Yoruba man has, Hausa, Fulani man, and even minor, minority from the South South has also been elected president. The North has been dominating the leadership of Nigeria, and the West has had a fair share, up to 11 years. That if that is if you add the military and civilian administration of Obasanjo. If we are still citizens of Nigeria with equal rights, it makes sense for the Southeast to assume that they automatically should be should have success, so have succeeded President Buhari, not even 2023, but any time he leaves he leaves office. We expect our political parties to adopt a South Eastern as a candidate come 2023, knowing that the candidate will be elected. We expect them to consider justice, fairness, and equality. We are not going to impose any candidate on them. We believe that we will ha not have that kind of problem. In fact, some youth from the north came here on December 1st, 2019. They came from Kaduna and they told me that they are organizing for other youths to support Igbos for presidency. Some old men like Musa are also saying the same thing. We have to come out and support an Igbo president, they say. As long as the government continues to keep Igbo down politically, Nigeria will continue to remain down politically, economically, and so on. I believe it is time for Nigeria to make progress. Look at the Igbos. Anywhere they go, they make progress. They have devoted their feet for one Nigeria. And anywhere they go, they progress. Igbo people want their children to be bigger and better than them. We don't want a place or mind for people to stay and remain poor. We don't have such places or problems. We don't, we don't do us and ourselves alone. We strive to make everywhere we go better. But if we come on board, it will not be about trading. We will ensure that education for all is number one which had number one there's nowhere in the country that you go and without we will and will not have good good education with good reasons president for president of Igbo extracted from among the people will be good for fairness justice and equality my people this is um the governor of uh, anambra state the person of chukwe Mika is a fee clamoring for an Igbo president you know, he said the Igbos have been seriously marginalized. They've not been treated fairly. No, they've not. The, the, the North have really dominated our presidency. The South-South, 
even the south south the west as well but guess what for a very long time now since i was young and up to where i am now i've not heard of an Igbo president it should not be if we say we have Igbo houses and yorubas as majority in the country everybody should have a fair share of the highest seat in the government and like uh, Chukwemeka clearly stated, wherever the Igbo goes to, they, they bring about communal life. They start trading. They, they become a part of that community. They, they help the community to be better. You know, the economy of the community changes. They are very hardworking set of people. And they, don't, they, are, they are not tribalistic. Wherever they go to, they mix up with the people and they become, they become relevant to the environment and to the society where they find themselves. Everywhere around the world, not talking about Nigeria, not just Nigeria, everywhere around the world where you find an Igbo man, they are really doing well. They are, they, they are a hard-working set of people. In fact, they have a DNA for success. That's why we must support 2023 for Nigeria to come out in mass and vote for a new Igbo president. An evil president will not will not will not communalize um, uh, the the east. No, wherever they go to become home for them, they stay there, they thrive there, they trade, they make that place their home, you know, and they make it better than they found it. So why not give a try to the east and see a difference? This might just be the difference. This might just be the next step for Nigeria, the boost that we need, the the, the change that we need to steer this country in the right direction. I want to hear what your thoughts are regarding this matter. I want to, that's why, you know, because they've not really been given opportunity, that's why they are actually saying, you know what, let's go to our own place, let's have our Biafra, you know. But if we, if we, if we, if we treat ourselves, if we, if we give the Igbos a chance and allow them to also have the, the first seat in the, in, the, in the country, perhaps their ideas and their relevance will be seen in the country at large. So I want to call on all Nigerians. Here at Apple Line Media, we speak against bad governance and we commend good ones and encourage them to do more. Please, let's consider, let's put it together so that we don't make the Igbo feel that they are not part of Nigeria. Let's, let's, let's give a welcome hand. Let's support any, anybody from the East that comes out as a presidential candidate and see great change in Nigeria. I want to say thank you to everyone who have come out to listen. Thank you so much. I appreciate you being there. Please subscribe, like and share. And don't forget to click on the notification button so that you can get all our latest news. We keep you informed and abreast with all that is going on in Nigeria and around the world. At Apple Online Media, we keep you connected and we keep you knowledgeable of what is going on in your surrounding. Thanks very much for, for listening. Once again, don't forget to subscribe, click, like, and share. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Bye.